everyone, it's Holly from Baby Gizmo, and today we're talking about forgetting the diaper bag. Now, we're not talking about getting rid of the diaper bag and not using it anymore, because that would be madness. We're talking about those times where you are leaving the house like a crazy woman with your baby or your kids in tow, just losing your mind, and you have left the diaper bag at home. Now, you're not going to remember as you're calmly walking out the door and go, huh, honey, I think we've forgotten the diaper bag. Let's go back in and get it. It's not how it works. It's not how any of this works. What's going to happen is you are going to be sitting in a busy restaurant with friends or relatives or maybe just yourself. Your baby's going to have a diaper blowout all over his outfit and be screaming to be fed. And then you're going to go, oh my God, I forgot the diaper bag. Now, the first thing you could do is you could look around the room and try to bomb a diaper off one of the moms that you see. But the problem is it's going to be the right diaper. Is it going to be the right size? And now you're going to need wipes. And are you formula feeding? Because now you need a bottle. And then the judging starts from the other mom. And we don't want that, right? We want to just be prepared. So today I'm going to show you how to make a car emergency kit for your baby. You need one of these in each vehicle that you drive. You can put it in a container, a plastic container like this with a lid or a diaper bag or a plastic bag. I don't care. As long as you have this in your car and you were prepared for those days that you forget your diaper bag. And if you've not forgotten your diaper bag yet, don't worry, you will, because we all do. It's just part of being a mom or a dad. So here's what you need to put in this emergency car kit. The first thing, put a blanket, a nice receiving blanket, muslin bag blanket, whatever. This is great for all kinds of things. It could be a vomit catcher. It could be a cleanup towel. It could be a regular blanket to keep your baby warm. It could be a nursing cover. It could be a billion things. Um, it could be a play tent, whatever you need it to be. Put a small, thin blanket in your kit. Now, you're gonna need diapers. Um, I would suggest not just one, because when you use the one, you're gonna forget to refill. So I would do at least three diapers. Now, if you're traveling with a toddler or a child, let's say five and under, bring a pair of underwear. That's right, if they're potty trained or not, um, you're gonna need a pair of underwear for that toddler, because accidents happen and they will happen to you. You might need two. Right, maybe you throw two in there, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, just, I'm telling you, bring the underwear. Now, you're also going to need a spare outfit. It doesn't have to be pretty. It could be the ugliest outfit you ever have because you're not going to use it a lot. Just make sure there is an outfit in there. Um, then you have to put a Ziploc bag. And the reason for the Ziploc bag is when they do poop all over their outfit where they spit up all over everything, you can put it in the bag, seal it away until you get home. Um, just makes it easier. This is also good for... You know, the kids that get sick in the car, you just don't know. A bag, you need a bag in here. Now, you're also going to need wipes. Probably not a container this big, but this is what I had on hand. But wipes are good for, obviously, cleaning up the diaper blowout, changing a diaper, wiping a face, wiping hands, wiping down a gross a high chair at the restaurant. Um, all kinds of good things. You need wipes. Also, might as well put a little emergency kit in there. Put some Band-Aids in there. Um, just a couple things. Just put that in there. Now, this isn't a necessity, but it's always kind of good to have a bib in there. Let's say you are out and about in, you know, a fancy environment and they have a, like their best outfit on and you forgot a bib, you'll be happy that you have one. Um, you just never know. You might as well, they're, they're easy to stuff. If you are bottle feeding, put a spare bottle in there. I would suggest putting water in there too and measuring it out for how much formula you will make. A bottle will save you, otherwise, um, <laughs> You might be stopping at the store searching for a bottle that it's not sanitized. Ah! So, a bottle. Make sure there's a bottle in there, and then make sure you have some formula. Um, get a formula stacker, measure it out. Let's say you wanted six ounces, measure it out there. Put six ounces of water in here. You could get those travel um, packets for formula. Really, really good idea. And last but not least, if your child takes a binky, it's always a good idea to have two spare, at least one, but why not two? And if it comes in a cool little container like that, even better because it keeps it clean. That's it. I mean, it's not a ton of stuff, but this is stuff that <laughs> you will be very, very sad if you do not have with you and you forgot your diaper bag. So this, you just keep it all nice and tidy in your car, keep it in your car trunk out of the way. So in those times where you have forgotten your diaper bag, you will be prepared. Like I said, it can go in any kind of container. Just make sure you have one in each vehicle. Now I'd like to thank our video monthly sponsor for this month, and it is Dr. Smith. Dr. Smith has a really cool new diaper rash spray. Now, you know when you're putting diaper rash on your baby and you have it on your finger and you're like, um, 
now what? And you're like this, <laughs> like this. Um, if there's not a cloth nearby, you're trying to figure out what to do with that diaper rash cream. They've come out with a spray and this is convenient. It helps treat, prevent diaper rash. Really, really good, really convenient. You just have to do a nice thin layer. It has a moisture barrier. It's 10% zinc oxide. It's the same Dr. Smith that we love that helps clear up diaper rash fast, like really, really fast. So this is their new diaper rash spray. It's Dr. Smith's that rash spray. You can get it on amazon.com and at walgreens.com. Um, really, really cool. I want to thank them for being our sponsor. And you guys, I need you to support our sponsors because they're helping us get these videos to you. So they're supporting us. You need to support them. It's kind of how it works, right? So thank you, Dr. Smith, for supporting us this month. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because you never know when I'm going to give you a really cool tip like this um, or we're just going to have a really fun video. So that's it for me. I'm Holly Schultz from Baby Gizmo. Bye.